Why do I feel like we're going to a funeral with all this black on? <laughs> the red leather, yellow leather, red leather. <laughs> Ready and action. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm with one of my best friends, Sahar Golestani. Hi! You may remember her from one of my previous videos. It was the ASMR mukbang mm -hmm. Get Ready With Me, I believe it was. Yes, and we stuffed our face with tacos. Like to death. And we whispered <laughs> the whole time. And it was so good, you have to watch it. For today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get this really beautiful, heavy, smoky eye. That's right, today's look is all about the eyes. We did not hold back for today's glam. Mm -mm. So let's get into it. So I went ahead and did most of Sahar's skin prep off camera just because I wanna make sure we mainly focus on doing a smoky eye today. But I'm gonna do one more thing for skin prep with you guys. I'm gonna be using these Karuna Under Eye Hydrating Patches. I like to leave these underneath the eyes so by the time that I get to the concealer and foundation application, the under eye area is nice and smooth. It also helps to brighten the under eyes too. So the more you use these, the brighter the under eyes will look over time. And these are the Renewal Eye Masks from Karuna, and I do have a code for these, ASH20, which I'll link below. Just gonna go in with a little bit of concealer just to base Sahara's eyelids. Any concealer will do. And I'm just using a flat synthetic brush just to get right underneath her brow hair. And I'm gonna go in with a medium-sized beauty blender just to blend this out a little bit. Just kind of patting this over the eyelid area. But wait, I kind of just had a flashback to our last ASMR video when I asked her what her favorite color was and she said, Dusty Rose. My favorite color is Dusty Rose. Who says Dusty Rose? It's a good color. <laughs> oh, you know Adam Levine's daughter's name is Dusty Rose? Oh, that's cute. Is it? <laughs> Now I'm just going in and setting the eyelid area with a little bit of translucent powder. The one I'm using is by Laura Mercier. And I'm just using a fluffy blending brush just to kind of set this area. So I'm actually gonna go in and base your eyes one more time, but this time I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil, and this is a black shade. So these are really amazing to use as eyeshadow bases because they're so mullient, rich, and creamy, and you can kind of take your time and use this to buff it onto the eyelid because it doesn't really dry down to a waterproof formula. It's nice and emollient, which makes it really easy to blend out. So I'm just gonna start off by applying this right along the lash line, and then I'm gonna go in and blend it out with a brush. And this is gonna make a really rich eyeshadow base for this really dramatic smoky eye. Most of the focus for this smoky eye look is gonna be mainly on the eyelid in a swoopy winged out type of shape. I would definitely be careful doing this technique that I'm doing right here with a waterproof eyeliner. If you do that, you wanna blend it out right away because it's going to dry down in whatever shape you applied it in. So these are great because I can go back and blend them out whenever I want. And as you can see, I didn't worry about making this perfect in any way, shape or form. It's a smoky eye, so the smudgier, the better. And again, I'll be going in and doing all of my blending with this brush here. And the brush that I'm using is a more tapered and defined pencil shaped brush. This is a little something that I'm working on. So as soon as it launches, you'll be first to know about it. So I'm gonna have Sahar look down and this way, that way I can get right into the corner of the eye. I'm also gonna use my thumb here just to kind of lift up her eyelid. And if anything falls underneath, we're gonna clean it up before we do a skin. And I'm just being really mindful of Sahar's eye shape. I wanna make sure that we keep this smoky eye on her eyelid and a little bit swooped out. So that way it doesn't overpower the whole entire look. I definitely don't want the smoky eye to be all the way up to the brow. I wanna keep it a little more controlled and refined. Now I'm gonna go in with another brush that is a little more wide and dense. It's a flat shading brush. And I'm basically just moving this product in a couple different ways, back and forth, side to side. You basically just wanna work out like any kinks, make sure that it's nice and smooth on the eyelid. 
And as you can see, this is leaving such a beautiful base. It's really rich and pigmented, so that way when I go in with eyeshadow, it'll stick quite nicely and it'll give us maximum color payoff. So as I get towards the outer corner of her eye, I'm just gonna basically move this back and forth in an outward shape, like so, just to lift her eyes in an upward direction. She has really beautiful straight eyebrows, so I kind of want everything to swoop in an upward direction just to match the brows. And if you don't have straight brows like Sahar, I would still recommend doing this shape just to lift the eyes up. It's always flattering. And as you can see, a little goes a long way with these pencils. That's all that I've used so far. And you're really able to create such beautiful eye looks with just one product. But I am gonna go in and set it. That way this eyeshadow lasts all day. As a makeup artist, knowing the kind of clients that I work with, I feel like everybody wants to do more of like a brown smoke, a yeah. bronzy smoke. There's so many ways you can do a smoky eye. It doesn't have mm -hmm. to be like, it doesn't have to be black. You could literally do a smoky eye with all pink tones, just mm -hmm. going from like light to dark tones. I've never done this before, but I feel like asking Sahar a series of questions. No. Rapid fire style. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Shoot. What animal do you associate yourself with a baby the most? Oh. Okay, killed it, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> what did you do on your first date with Masari, who is a? Singer. A famous Lebanese singer. <laughs> he uh, picked me up and took me to a park and we sat on a park bench and we smoked shisha and we had oh. ice cream cones from McDonald's. You're so cute. <laughs> That's like kind of a dream date. Isn't That's it so cute? cute. Stay in or go out? Oh, ooh, go out. With you, obviously. but like not during COVID, right? No, 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 Just, no, no, no. <laughs> go out like we used to go out. Rapid fire. Oh, What's I'm your nervous. favorite color in the whole eye world? It changes, um, but right now, <laughs> <laughs> right now it's lavender. Ooh, yeah, I like that. You know what the fun thing about lavender is? Mm -hmm. It's dusty. All right, it's I'll, dusty whatever. purple. I'll give so. you that. Mine was a more of like a rich, whitish lavender. Yeah, dusty purple. Okay, fine. <laughs> Sweatpants or jeans? Sweatpants. <laughs> mm, curly hair or straight hair? Ooh, it's a tie. If you could pick an animal, what animal would you pick? An alpaca. <gasps> All right, back to this glam. <laughs> to set Sahara's eyes, I'm going in with this Mothership eyeshadow palette by Pat McGrath. And I started off by using this shade here from the palette, but I'll probably do a combination of this moment right here. And I'm just going in with that flat brush again that's nice and dense, just really packing this on. And then I'm gonna go in and start to blend out the crease. And just going in with the blending brush just to soften up these edges right here. Just going back and forth, following the shape of her eye. I mainly wanna keep the focus on the eyelid and then right above the crease, just to blow this out softly. I might add a little shimmer to this look, but I mainly want to keep it nice and matte. I have been loving this matte eyeshadow type of look lately. I just think it's so beautiful. It reminds me of the 90s, and that's definitely one of my favorite eras of all time. And because we used a black pencil right underneath this eyeshadow, it's making the look nice and rich. It actually looks black, which I love because it's Honestly not, this eyeshadow is lighter than black, but I'm gonna go back in along the lash line with a black eyeliner just to add more depth and definition to this look. And going back in with a really tapered blending brush, I basically switch up the sizes from something a little bit long and tapered to something a little bit shorter and tapered. I feel like it's nice to have a combination of brushes like that in your makeup bag just so you can get into the inner, the outer corner, and do a little bit more detail work on the eyes. And now I'm taking a clean blending brush just to soften up these outer corner edges to make sure this is nice and blown out, but not too harsh. Going in with another really defined pencil shaped brush, I'm gonna get right into the inner corner of her eyes just to really deepen this up. I'm also gonna take the same brush with the same eyeshadow and push this into the pocket of her eye so it's really nice and rich in the crease of her eyelid. When was the last time you did a black smokey eye on someone? Hmm. 
probably the last time that I did a really dark smoky eye was on Kim Kardashian for the Vanity Fair carpet that was after the Oscars. Mm, nice. It was actually one of my favorite like smoky eye looks that I've ever done. It was so different and it was really rich and deep, just like the eye that we're doing today and mm. it was all matte tones. So some people say that you should never pair a smoky eye with a red lip. Do you agree with this notion? Oh, that's a good question. I feel like for the holidays, it's actually really pretty to do like a red lip with a smoky eye. It kind of contradicts itself because you always, I feel like we always say like, oh, with a dark eye, you should go with a light lip, which I do agree. I'm doing that today. But there are those moments when that's okay. And you can do whatever you want. It yeah. just washes off at the end of the day. So if you want to do a dark eye with a dark lip, be you boo. Mm -hmm. And I'm going back in with that tapered blending brush and just making sure that the outer corner of the eye is nice and lifted. And I'm using really soft pressure on Sahar's face. Like she can feel my pressure, it's so light to the touch. I think the lighter the pressure, the better, especially when doing a smoky eye because we want it to look you know, powerful and make a statement, but it still look soft on the edges. For this look, there are moments when I want more of a grunge moment and I would go heavier on, you know, the crease and things like that and heavy on the blending. But in this case, I want it to look nice and diffused. Now I'm gonna go back into the Pat McGrath Mothership eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna be using this shade here with a blending brush. I'm gonna have you look down in this way. It's basically a lighter mauve tone. Pressing this into the inner corner of the eyes just to softly lighten this area here. And then using a flat little shader brush. This is a really small brush that's great to use to do detail work underneath the eyes or lash line. I'm gonna go in with the black eyeshadow from the same palette. And I'm gonna have you look down for me and I'm gonna start shading the lash line just to darken up this area even more. So when we go to put eyeliner on top of it, it'll be even darker and it'll have a nice fade to this look. And I'm just bringing it deep into the inner corners of the eyes as well. I'm also gonna bring it in an upward direction and kind of follow the outer corner of her crease. And then we'll softly blend that out. And then just going on top of this area here, just to soften up the edges even more. So it's really all about layers with this look. You wanna start off with a little bit and then work your way up. And I'm basically just blending this in different directions just to make sure that it's nice and smooth. And I do think I wanna add just a little bit of shimmer to your eyes just to make it a little more glam. So I'm gonna go in with this eyeshadow palette from Dior. I'm gonna use this really beautiful shimmery black tone here with a blending brush. And I'm just gonna have you look down for me and I'll press this on your eyelids. Just all over the entire eyelid. These eyeshadows are so rich and soft at the same time. They just blend like a dream. So it is perfect to put on top of these Pat McGrath eyeshadows. And taking one of my wipes, I'm just going to make sure that the outer corner of her eye right here is nice and sharp. I'm gonna smoke out the under eye to match this side and I'm gonna be going in with that first eyeshadow that we used. Look up for me. Just getting right underneath her bottom lashes. And then once I do the skin, I'll probably go back and touch this area up since I will be putting concealer and eyeliner around this area as well. I wanna make sure that it's nice and fresh, so I'll probably do a touch up with you guys at the end. To line Sahara's waterline, I'm gonna be using this eyeliner by House Laboratories. This is in the shade Punk. Such a great eyeliner to use for the waterline or even just creating a line on the top of the eyes. It's a cream gel liner that dries down to being waterproof and it has an all day wear. It literally doesn't budge, but it is nice and emollient and easy to work with. I'm just taking my time applying this really slowly in her waterline just to build it up. 
One thing that I can't stand is when sometimes you'll do a smoky eye or just apply black or brown eyeliner on the bottom and you'll see gaps between the liner and the lashes. So I always make sure that I'm really smudging and working that pencil into every single little gap. Don't be afraid to go pretty thick into the waterline and bring it down underneath the lashes just to smoke it out even more. It makes it look even more sultry. And I'm just going back in with a smudger brush and I'm just softening up the edges, making sure that it's nice and smooth and that there's no gaps. I'm also gonna have you look down for me. I'm gonna hold my thumb right here on her eyelid and I'm gonna apply this exact same eyeliner on the top waterline, pushing it up into the eyelashes. This is also key whenever you're gonna do a strip lash and I think we might do that today. So you wanna make sure that the strip lash or your individuals blend and it looks like it's growing from your eyes. So this is a great trick to do, is by kind of filling in the waterline area. Look that way, and I'll get into the inner corner. So for Sahara's top eyeliner, I'm gonna be using this eyeliner from Inglot because it is so rich and black and waterproof, so it is not gonna budge. This is the 77 gel liner, and I'm gonna be pairing it with my MAC 263 angled eyeliner brush. I'm gonna start off by creating a line on both sides of Sahara's eyes, angled in the same direction that the eyeshadow edge already is laid. Then once I've created a line on both sides, I'm gonna start off from the outer corner of her eye, going from thick to thin. That way it lifts the eyes up in an angular direction, keeping the shape of her eyes nice and catty to go with the eyeshadow shape that I've already created. You'll see me use the brush in different directions. Sometimes I like to rotate it from one side to the other side just to make sure that the eyeliner is nice and flat and laying on the lid with no little kinks. I think it's important to switch up your hand position and also angle the brush in different directions. You kind of just have to do what works for you. It's one of those things that just takes practice. So I mainly wanted all of the focus to be on Sahar's eyes. So we'll be right back. I'm gonna do her skin really quick and we'll come back to do eyelashes with you guys and also smoke out the under eye even more. Okay, so we're back. I just finished doing Sahar's skin and the only thing left is mascara and lashes. So I wanna do it together. The mascara that I'm gonna be using is by Buxom. This is the Extrovert Mascara. It gives you really long, full and thick, dramatic lashes and it's really easy to build. I'm also gonna be giving Sahar this mascara just for sanitary purposes. So that way she'll be going home with it and that's honestly what I like to do with my clients. I'm just starting from the base and I'm really utilizing like the tip of the wand to lift the lashes in an upward direction. This mascara is also amazing to use if you wanna wear this eye and make it a little more editorial and not do a strip lash. I highly recommend doing two coats of the Extrovert Mascara. It's truly amazing for a dramatic lash. Another great way to really maximize on getting full lashes is to curl it from the base and lift it in an upward direction. I feel like it locks the curl in when you give it a nice twirl. That works really well with this mascara specifically. As I get towards the inner corner of the eye, I always hold the wand in a vertical direction. It makes it much easier to get those inner corner lashes. And for a really dark dramatic smoky eye, you just wanna make sure that there's no gaps in between the lashes and the waterline. So with what's left over on this wand, I'm gonna have Sahar look up and I'm just gonna use this kind of in a vertical direction and swoop my wand back and forth. You could go for a really heavy lower lash line on the mascara, but I typically like to use what's left over when I'm doing a smoky eye. So before I go in with any more mascara, I'll probably mix the two of these shades right here. So I'm just using a more pencil shaped brush to get right underneath her lashes and I made sure to tap off any excess because we do not want to have any fallout underneath her eyes since her skin is completely finished. So while I'm blending this out, I wanted to ask you what you've been working on. Sahar is one of my best friends. She's always up to something. <laughs> so tell us. <laughs> um, well, in the beginning of December, December 1st, actually, I launched my own jewelry line. <gasps> what? 
Congrats. So I'm Thank sitting here you. with the brand owner oh, herself. Oh, yeah, CEO. Yeah, so I launched my own jewelry line. It's 18 karat gold plated jewelry. Um, it's just the beginning stages, so I'm just adding some inventory every week, trying to come up with new things that I know people will love. I'm actually wearing some of it right now, and I know Ash is wearing some too. I'm honestly obsessed. I haven't been able to take it off. We're both wearing all of the pieces. Yeah, so it's been my favorite like necklaces to la to layer. It honestly goes yeah, with anything. Yeah, it goes with anything, and also I have like a layering class so that your necklaces don't get tangled together. That was really important for me because every time I wear like layered necklaces, they just kind of get tangled. It's they like the tangled. worst. The clasp is the best. Um, and yeah, and some of the pieces are water resistant. So you can awesome. take a shower, jump in the pool, you can go to the gym and it will not tarnish or fade. In case any of you are wondering where to get any of her pieces, I'll make sure to link that below in the description. Yay. <laughs> And in this case, if you do get any eyeshadow fallout from smoking out the lower lash line, you can always go back in with a little translucent powder and just kind of knock off any excess. So for lashes, I'm gonna go with the Style and Royalty by Lily Lashes. These are more of a soft glam strip lash, so it's honestly perfect for this smoky eye, soft glam look. So I'm gonna apply these with my Tweezer Man tweezers. I'm just holding them directly in the center. I'll have you look down for me, and I'm just gonna drop it right on the lash line. I also have a code for Lily Lashes, and the code is ASH. It's super easy to remember, and I'll definitely put that down below as well. So having the client or the model look right or left, it kind of flattens the eyelid. So I'm having her look this way so I can really push the outer corner in and then look the, other, the opposite direction to flatten out the inner corner and make sure that it's as close to the lash line as possible. Open. <gasps> wow, gorgeous. Same thing on this side, I'm just gonna have her look down and I'm gonna drop the lash in the center. The reason why I never have my clients close their eyes when doing so is because you never want your lashes to stick together. So just keeping your eyes open, looking down, it's really the best way to apply strip lashes. Okay, so Teddy came to say hi. He just walked up in this room and he wanted to say hi. So say hi, Teddy. <laughs> I always feel like when I get to the eyelashes, doing the individuals or putting on a strip lash, it really completes the look and I'm loving this look on you. I've never seen you do a smoky eye and I'm honestly obsessed. I know. It looks I, so good on you. I love it. Thank you guys for watching today's smoky eye focus makeup tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please like it, give it a thumbs up, and of course, subscribe to my channel so you can get notified on more videos every Sunday. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Look number two. When you love yourself, you glow from the inside. You attract people who love, respect, and appreciate your energy. Everything starts with and how you feel about yourself. My favorite step.